right, hello, hello. <laughs> oh man, I am nervous as always. Ooh, there's a new setting here. What is this? I can highlight things in chat? Ooh, interesting. Select which highlights you see in chat. Now they show up. And how they show up. Highlights will not be visible to all viewers in chat. Or two viewers in chat. Oh really? Okay, cool. Uh, personalized recognition helps viewers feel like they belong in your community. Switch to individual. Okay, cool. Anyway, hello. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and move on over to this screen right here. Hello. <laughs> it is lovely to see you guys all again. How are you doing? How has your Wednesday and your Thursday been treating you, everybody? I hope it has been very good. If it hasn't been very good, I hope you guys have a wonderful time here. Mm. Make sure to stay hydrated. Make sure that you guys keep uh, keep as healthy and fit as you as you can, really. Uh, I am trying to figure out a way to make my camera here not actually too bad looking. <laughs> I noticed in certain positions, um, like if I move, where was it? Sometimes the camera auto adjusts its brightness settings, and because I'm wearing a pink shirt right now, it uh, <laughs> doesn't look quite so good on camera as it does in real life. Believe me, I look absolutely fucking amazing in real life. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's tell you guys what we're actually doing today. Uh, oops, hold on a second. So today, as you can see in the title, we are playing Across the Obelisk. I am going to be playing Craft the Obelisk for today's stream. Um, this game is living in my head rent free. It is, it is an incredibly good game, I think. Or at least, um, I don't know. It's it's strange thinking about what games I enjoy playing, what games I don't enjoy playing. I tip, I typically find games that I can get into are games where most of it is a learning process, right? Like I feel like I've learned like the mechanics of this game but I feel like even as I advance and climb through the madness setting I'm still learning more and more things right and I feel like I haven't completed the game but if there's a game out there um I mean there there's some exceptions some games are based on execution you can understand what you need to do but it's just getting the execution right and then there are other games where you don't understand what to do and the execution is very simple but you just need to execute the right commands right I feel like Slay the Spire, uh, not Slay the Spire, <laughs> it's going to happen a lot by the way. Uh, I feel like Across the Obelisk is a game like that for me. Anyway, we are going to change on over to our live scene here. Here we go. There we go. Amazing, amazing. Um, let's see, can I actually move this somewhere else? Let's see, how can I do this? If I grab, oh no, what did I just grab? Hold on a second. I What I want to do is I want to grab... Yeah, I want to grab this. Oh, but that'll put me right in the center, won't it? Okay. I'm trying to move my camera. Actually, you know what? No, I think the camera is fine where it is. Honestly. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for letting me know that I am muted. I do sincerely apologize for that. 
<laughs> oh boy, okay, that was embarrassing. I know how to stream everyone, I promise you. Sometimes, most of the times. But yeah, how have you all been? How has everything been going? I hope everything's been going wonderfully. Oh, this is gonna look so bad on the YouTube board. <laughs> you have just saved the streams, and thank you very much. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have all been having a wonderful Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday since the last stream that we had. I have been doing wonderfully. I look amazing right now. Although my pink shirt doesn't blend in too well with the background here, which is the lighting here. So it looks a lot worse than it does on camera than it does at IRL. But yeah, how have how has things been going for y'all? Hope everything's been going wonderfully. We are currently playing the final battle. Well, one of the two final battles in this. Doing alright, just making some lunch. Fantastic. I just finished eating dinner myself. Um, but yeah, we are fighting off against the uh, semi-final boss here. This is Lord Hanchek. And let me tell you a little bit about what we've got going on. So this is basically a sharpness build. We have Bree who is doing, um, what is this? Uh, she basically just inflicts block, vulnerable, and slow on the enemy. And she's already gone through all of these. I started in media res here because I wanted to get this run finished, <laughs> like, immediately. Because um, I'm so close to scaling up the mountain. What we want to do is we want to climb the mountain scales. We are at... Madden's 4, we have Impending Doom on, which doesn't really do anything in the last few combats because this triggers um, Doom on all of us, which gives us basically a countdown timer until we die. Uh, if we receive Underwhelming, so if the combat goes on long enough, but in these final two fights, not going to happen because uh, combat never go on for too long, apparently. <laughs> so anyway, Bree is a defender and she also does Vulnerable and she does some other stuff. Uh, we have Sylvie here, who is our main DPS. What she does... Excuse me. What she does is she just plays these cards over and over again. That is all she does. She just plays every single one of these all over again. Could probably get rid of her setup at this point now that her deck is thinned. Setup is really more a card for um, getting through all of these more than anything else in her base deck. And this is all just about setting up sharpness, setting up her... Um, her energy, all of that kind of stuff. But she is a beast when it comes to sharp. It is incredible. She has this ability on her. Where is it? Sight on enemies reduces their piercing damage by 0.3% per charge. Now, when you have 76 sight, that means that your piercing damage goes down immensely. <laughs> so, there we go. I mean, that's also partly the vulnerable here. All resistance is minus 48%. That's what? Yeah, minus 41%. So, they're taking 41% extra damage, I think. I don't know exactly how this calculation works, but they're taking a lot of damage, which is very good because look at how much health points this guy has. It is insanity. Otis back here. Otis just does um, blocks, uh, shields on everyone. He's even got... Uh... Oh, he does... Oh, have... has he already killed all of our pets? Dark cremation? Where is it? Black... Yeah, here we go. Twilight Slaughter. He killed, killed all of our pets already. <laughs> Uh, give the game a second to load here. For some reason, it slows down so much on the screen. But yeah. And uh, yeah, he also has this fortune telling. Let's see. Can I use it on Bree? I don't want to use it on Bree just yet. Alright, let's see how it goes. This has been my best run so far when it comes to uh, running Slay... Not Slay the Spy. That's going to happen so many times, guys. Uh, this is going to happen so many times. Um, sorry, this this has been the first run that I've done that has gotten this far recently. Do I want to... What's he up to this time? He's up to highest HP hero, which is Bree. Uh, which is going to deal damage. And ignores block. It's going to heal him a little bit. That's a bit frustrating. Hellfire. Need to keep an eye on the darks to make sure we don't blow up. Inferno. Oh, Inferno is pretty bad, actually. Because that's equal to our vanish piles. And in terms of vanish... Bree has 20, Sylvia has 13, and Otis has 10. So that's, uh, that's not going to be too good, but we can alleviate that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the burn uh, levels here, and then let's go ahead and give everyone some speed. We won't play setup right now because our deck is currently uh, exhausted. Now we get to see how much damage Bree truly does. So every turn we play Adrenaline. 
And then that just puts us, I think, one energy shy of playing all... No. Puts us two energy shy of doing all of this. So every turn is basically a toss-up between what we want to do. But honestly, multi-shots, no longer as useful, considering all of these cards seem to be doing the exact same thing. And we can play... We can only play one of... Right, I, we can't play Rapid Fire and Volley. That is the issue that we have. But I think what we want to do, we definitely want to do Rapid Fire. And the great thing about this is every time Sylvie hits the enemy with one of her attacks, she applies more sights, which means the resistance is lowered. Last turn it was at minus 41, that uh, piercing arrow right there up in the top right of the top left. <laughs> and yeah, so... Ooh, we also do slashing damage here. I decided to add Devastate onto Bree here because Bree is actually left over with quite a bit of energy usually. So let's go ahead and play this. I don't think we're going to want to play them all. So we have five, four, three, two. I think we only want to do this once. Yeah. And then we can do one of those. And then a repair armor. Sure. Might as well get that uh, fortify on it. That fortify, that's reinforced. But yeah, um, how have your runs been going? What is the highest madness that you guys have gotten to so far? And what do you, what build was it that got you to that madness level? I think that's a good question to ask here. Let's see. Also, Mag uh, sorry, Otis back here. He has some large reserves of energy, so I decided to give him Celestial Radiance. I'm not really sure how useful it's going to be for the final battle, but we'll find out one way or another. Now, working on 13, but can't get past the twins. Ooh. What is the... I guess I want to ask, like, what's the most significant thing about being in, like, Madness 13 compared to, like, Madness... The Madness that we're at? What do you think is the thing that hold that's, like, the most devastating? As of right now, I don't remember what the higher Madness levels do get you. Let's see, let's go ahead and grab this, and let's get one thing that Gustav here does. Gustav constantly applies more sharp to Sylvie, which is fantastic, and he makes sure that we are all at plus three speed. Bree also has a similar thing with her... Oh, did it vanish? Oh yeah, push forward vanishes. Why did I think it didn't vanish? Anyway, that's okay. And then he also provides some auxiliary dispelling. Excellent. Okay. We have five energy. We can now play both of these, which is great. And he should be pretty much dead pretty soon. You just take all the stuff on the right. So, hardest part's probably the fast monsters with empowered enchant slash auras. Yeah, I have heard that that can get pretty overwhelming. Uh, especially if you take, like, the, the sub-zero corruption challenge. The one where they get paralyzed on you every turn. And that ends up lasting two turns, and uh, that just uh, ruins everything, right? Because it only gives it to them every two turns. I find myself never actually taking that corruption, honestly. I just feel like it is one of the most difficult corruptions to take. Just a random person gets paralyzed for one turn. What's another corruption that's difficult? I think Melancholy is super difficult as well. The last boss after this guy, his enchant give two stacks of evasions per hit he takes. Oh my god! So you can only hit him one hit him one every three times. Oh my goodness. What? Ooh, okay, and I thought his um his empowered cards, like his doom card, what was it, despair? Yeah, I think I here I thought his despair card were like overwhelming. I've gotten to him once with despair active. Oh, I can remove his speed. This will make him slower than Sylvie, which is good. Although I don't think it actually matters. I think we get healed between this and next battle. But it looks like Sylvie has now taken it. Lovely jubbly. All right, might as well apply some more weakness to him, and let's go. Ooh. 
I didn't realize I had so low energy. Oh well, doesn't matter. He's dead. <laughs> All right, there we go. Handshake is down. All right, let's go ahead and trigger the final battle here. So this guy has even more HP. All right. Go ahead and get our combo started. Now you guys can see what exactly I'm doing here. Oh, I should have played... No, 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 no. This is still okay. This is still okay. Okay, excellent. So I play Encore. At Chant of Accuracy. Giving it to Sylvie. Play another Chant of Accuracy. Then I last reward into that Chant of Accuracy. Although I could last reward into Enrage. That will... You know what? Let's give it a go. Let's do it this way. So we play this. We play Setup. We get another chant, and then we just put back anything on the top. Encore. And then chant of accuracy. There we go. We now have some substantial uh, sharp on, on Sylvie here. Any build that you guys have seen success with recently? I feel like this is just my basic understanding of... Um, of across the obelisk at the moment but I feel like sharp is like the way to go isn't it I almost feel like all the other options just aren't aren't really good enough if that makes sense okay what are we digging for here we would like the adrenalines if we can get two adrenalines from setup that would be fantastic okay we only got one let's go ahead and put back I think we put back volley for now Make sure that we draw that next turn. And then we can do... Adrenaline. Sharpening knife. Hmm. Do I want to set up for next turn? I think that might be a good idea. So I'll do Elven Accuracy. Double shot. And then let's get ourselves this. That's fine, we drew volley. Actually, that's not good, we drew volley. I should have paid more attention. All right. Let's see. Battle plan. Do I want to push forward right here? I don't think I do. It grants everyone three speed. But the Archon is in a pretty good uh, spot already, I think. We're, we're just going to draw push forward anyway. What am I talking about? Yeah, we play this. And we might as well play that, sure. Okay, fine. I feel like... I haven't really had too much success with the Dark build. I've been playing around with Grookly a lot, and uh, Grookly with his uh, just insane stack of fury gets like hilarious. It just gets insane. I hope to one day be able to show that off. But we'll, we will see. All right, let's go ahead and do double bubble, unwavering. Uh, we can't see what they're doing because yeah, it's not there. They're not acting this round. Which is fine. Go ahead and play this. Okay, we now have Doom active on all of us. Which is where things start to get a little bit tricky, but not really. The main downside with this Doom mechanic are these Martyrdoms, honestly. These Martyrdoms replace one of your draws. It bloats your deck. So where this might have been a useful card, it now turned into a card that you need to play for survival eventually and if you don't play it your deck is just going to stack up with martyrdoms and it's honestly terrible i think the mechanic of replacing your cards with dead cards or replacing your draw with dead draws it's just so disproportionately powerful all right do i focus down the shadow clone i feel like let's focus down the shadow clone while we are buffing ourselves up Okay, do I want to play this? I'll play this on Otis back here. Alright, we should get a Chant of Accuracy at some point soon. There it is. Alright, let's put back Ballad of Evasion. Uh, yep. Let's get this. And sure, let's do another Find Weakness. Apply those vulnerable stacks. I did try doing with Trial and Error. Um, who, the gaming group that I often play with. Um, we tried doing a... what was it? If not, what's the other game mode? The Obelisk game mode? Obelisk challenge or something? We went ahead and tried one of those, the random procedurally generated one. 
or like the random encountered one. Oh man, yeah, and that's stress. Hold on, what what did we draw? Vanish. Oh, we got deadly chime. That's not great. Okay. But yeah, we tried the um, the obelisk random challenge thing the other day, and it's actually pretty cool. But I definitely felt the impact of the low. Oh man, Falcon Shop not going to do anything. Definitely felt the impact of the low. Yeah, put that back as well. Of the low madness run. It was basically like a vanilla run. And it felt like we were making so many mistakes that weren't really much. Oh, we had double shot. Oops. Should have played rapid fire. Oh, that's okay. Mistakes are made, mistakes are learned from. That is important. Alright, let's go ahead and give this to Sylvie. Then we might as well do a push forward here since the Archon is pretty fast. Go ahead and apply this. Do we want Sylvie to get Inspire? I don't believe so. Sylvie has what, six, seven, eight cards? You know what, let's give Sylvie Inspire. And then as for you, do I want to give you this? Let's do it. I think Otis is going to heal you up anyway. But yeah, Otis... <laughs> we joke in trial and error that Otis is the go-to for like any major healing that you need. Just because he heals you without healing you, right? I feel like that can be said about a lot of... A lot of heroes, but... I feel like it's especially true for Otis here. Do I let this shuffle in? I think I let the shuffle in. Yeah, let's let the shuffle in. Nah, let's give it to, to Breach. There we go. Alright, I think at some point, I don't know if it's a despair option or not, like this option down here, but with that option, Archon, the Archon here is able to inflict stress on your entire group, which is what killed me last time, honestly. And it was uh, super frustrating to deal with. Great, we got the chance. Let's go ahead and give that to Sylvie. I want the... I want that one. Fantastic. Alright, now if only we could slow down the Shadow Clone. Aha, uh -huh, just what the doctor ordered. There we go. Now Sylvie goes ahead. Let's go ahead and inflict vulnerable stacks on the Archon back here now. Standard bearer, might as well. Enrage. Do I even want to enrage? Sure, let's do it. It's not like it, uh... It hurts us in any way. Alright, and then we do martyrdom on Gustav. Lovely. Alright, we have six energy, which is real nice. So we can do three, four, five, six. We can play all of our ranged attacks. Let's do it. <laughs> we incidentally kill the Shadow Clone. That is lovely. And then we drew the card back again. Alright, let's see. Rapid Fire, Multi Shot. I'm thinking, do we actually want to expend all of our energy? I'm almost thinking that we do. Yeah, let's do this. We need to be mindful of the darkness that we're taking. Front hero... And that jumps. So that will probably blow up Sylvie now. Reduce curse charges by... 50%? That's not a problem. Misery. Place two sads on target's discard pile. Now the sads are terrible. <laughs> I do not like the sads. This one's free. Get that one out of our deck. Multi-shot? Why not? Okay. Ooh. What did that to- what made him get hurt? How did he take damage? Did I have thorns on or something? Oh, okay, we can uh, do this to get rid of his uh... <laughs> oh, that's the thing that gives him evasion, huh? Oh, you're talking- so Xanth, you're talking about this abstraction feature. When damaged by others, it gives him evade. So with Empowered, it gives him like two- two stacks 
Oh my goodness, that is terrifying. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and cast this over here. Then let's get our prayers of protection up. Dispel magic. Ooh, Sylvie has a weak. We should get rid of that weakness. Alright, Sylvie. What's he up to this time? Apotheosis. Divine Punishment, where X equals target Bless. We don't use any Bless, which is good. Celestial Brilliant, Rapture. That is going to give us a lot of Sanctify on everyone except for Sylvie. Crucifixion. Put one Martyrdom on top of target deck. Okay. So let's take a look at the deck so far. Sad, sad. We can play through this. Question though is do we want volley? I think we do not want volley because we have rapid fire. I think the more that we play rapid fire, the better it gets. Alright, we'll play that. It's gonna get converted anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, we need to cast this on you. Play some sand. Sweet melody. Let's get rid of the sweet melody or get the sweet melody on Marie. Sad oh man, more sad. But we need to play it, otherwise it's just going to clog up our deck entirely. Nice, and then the chant, fantastic. Do that, find weakness, and Gustav has done his job. Let's go, Frogger. Do I Devastate here? Devastate is, um... So Devastate will hit him once, get rid of the evasion. Then hit him, then he gains an evasion. So every other hit is going to be uh, evaded. But what will it end on? So first hit is remove, second hit is add. So every odd hit is going to be a... Uh, every odd hit is going to be a... Gain evade turn, right? Yeah. Let's get a battle plan up. I don't need those two. Play the sand. And sure, let's do a devastate. So every so this is off, on, off, on, off. Yeah, we don't want him to keep that evade. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and grant this to you. And we might as well blood rage. I think we have enough resources to maintain a blood rage on him. Rapture, okay, that's the big one. That put a lot of stacks onto Gustav and Otis. <laughs> Look at this. Instead of three cards from our deck, we instead got two Sads and one Martyrdom. That's why I don't like this. Alright. Prayer Protection, save it for later. There we go. Save it for later is the MVP saving grace, I think. <laughs> okay, okay, sure, sure. Let's uh, do this, do this. I don't want these things stacking up. I think that's pretty much the entire point now, isn't it, though? But we are adding uh, stacks to him. Is he going to do his thing that reduces his curses by 50%? No. Alright. We are not playing with limited power, so Sylphie's um, sharp can go as high as we want it to go. Which means that this battle is basically just a battle of endurance. Eventually we will be dealing enough damage. And that is, what is what's important. There we go. Do I want to remove anything here? Remove the Dark Ombre. Or Otis. Not Otis, Gustav. Let's remove the Vulnerable from Otis actually. Vulnerable is a super powerful condition. I really don't know exactly what Devastate does for us. Sure, it gets us to like, what, 10 power? And then fix like 20 bleed at maximum. Let's get a battle plan. Let's put those back. Let's play Martyrdom on... I don't even know. Back here. Alright, and then we will start to buff people up. 
think we do battle shout. This will give Sylvie a little bit more damage. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Hopefully these bleeds will start to add up at some point. I highly doubt it because he can remove bleeds and stuff. All right, that is terrible. Oof. Oof. Okay. The Archon has abilities that deal X block, or X damage to you, depending on your block, and it goes through your block. Alright, let's see. Fanaticism. Can do. Don't really need to use Celestial Radiance. I feel like I will use this, though. I want to keep my deck as thin as possible, and he's just trying to bloat my deck. Are we doing Madness again? Or Mid Sad again? Oh yeah, this is the one. Ethereal reduces curse charges by 50%. Mm. Alright, well here at least we can do this and this. The good news about Sylvie is I've taken the perk on Sylvie, the level up ability on Sylvie, where she, her ranged attack damages ignore block. So she just naturally ignores block, which is real nice. Martyrdom on Sylvie. Does Sylvie have one in her deck? No, not right now. Oops, I think I clicked something. There we go. Alright. Martyrdom on Sylvie. Let's go. Dispel on Sylvie. Yeah. And then we all do quick on Sylvie. What's the last card we have? Another deflect? That's fine. We can draw the deflect. I think in terms of favorite characters I wouldn't necessarily call it call them my favorite character but whenever I do do a run I always play with either Bree or Magnus and I just can't figure out a way not to during Magnus runs do any of you know what a, like an, an Andrin tank build looks like I've been hearing about it but I'm not sure how viable it really is so has anyone that had success Ambush. Oh no! It's a Liger! I thought you were suggesting a thing for <laughs> for Andrin for a second. How are you doing, Liger? It's been a while since I've seen you in here. I hope you've been uh, doing well since the last D&D game we had. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I think I don't want to go max on this, because I want to do this. And Martin I don't even need Martyrdom. Yeah, Andy is good tank for combo decks. Oof. That was a really bad bounce. Ugh. Okay, here we go. No madness. Ooh. Dude, we can actually use fortune telling on here to get rid of... I don't, I don't need that. Let's get rid of a setup. Actually, no. Setup might be useful for us. Let's get rid of it. Andy is good tank for combo decks. What do you mean for combo decks? Do you mean like when partnered with combo decks or with a combo deck? Like is he the one running the combo deck? I feel like that wouldn't make sense. He's running a tank deck. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, he he gets things like parry. He gets things that give him evade, which I think makes him a, is what makes him a good tank, right? All right, let's do chant of accuracy. Get up to 105. Lovely. Let's do your setup. What do we still have in our deck? We still have a find weakness. So let's do this. Can we get a chant accuracy? No. Let's get rid of the deflect. And we will play another deflect that we get. What? Oh. Yeah, let's play that again. And then we get a one cost deflect. Uh, chant of accuracy, sorry. And now we can play this. Then we can play this. And we can also get rid of a sad. What makes him good is his speed and also his zero cost defense cards deflect. Ah, I see. Is this the one that I think it does? Yeah, damage and heal done reduced. So you definitely need this, Sylvie. But if you're going to have long drawn out fights, he isn't as good as the others. Yeah, I feel like Andrin tank against Archon on Hide Madness is asking for trouble, right? I'm sure it can be done, but I think it's just not too viable, right? 
Oh, he's got abstraction on right now. Right. Well. Is Sylvie going to just be relegated to having three energy now? He was low. No one's low yet. Let's do battle plan. Let's go ahead and put these two back. Play a sad. Get that out of our deck. Play one of these. And then reinforce armor. Cool. You beat 11 with Andy Tank on high mana, but only because you killed Archon on first turn. <laughs> oh boy. 79! What? They applied 79 stacks of Sanctify. My Holy Resistance is... nothing right now. Alright. At least Pig God at the back here has got some insane... insane energy. Yeah, let's do this. All right. What did you do? What did you use to do a turn one kill? I have seen, I think it was a Thule's turn one kill with poison. Like he just kept drawing cards and drawing cards. And he ends up playing like triple poison, triple poison, triple poison. I feel like there's more efficient ones, especially for madness runs where the cost of energy in your deck uh, increases substantially. Increases every time it shuffled, should I say, during a turn. Do I want anything from here? Find weakness. I have the energy. Let's get it. Alright, let's put... Actually, we can keep that. Let's get the deflect back. Then Grookly one-shot boss. Ah, it's a Grookly build, I see. Yeah, Grookly strikes me as someone who does shenanigans. <laughs> Make me think of that one perk. Let's see if we can find that perk, actually. There is a Fury perk, I believe. Where is it? This one? No, this one. No. Which one? It was one of these. Ah, this one. Fury on this hero instead increases damage by 1% per charge. But no longer apply... No, not that one. There was one here that... Um... Sharp Bless Fury Overpower is nuts. I'm, I feel like there was a, a perk that, like, increased the amount of benefit you get from something, but it ends at the end of the turn. If that isn't a power perk, it might be a power perk. Let me see. Yeah, it's this one. Powerful on this hero increases all damage and healing done by 10% and loses all charges at the end of turn. Yeah, Overpower. Yeah. Alright, what do we have on our Sylvie turn? We have Adrenaline. I feel like Rapid Fire deals more damage at this point. So let's see, that is two shots of 269 plus a 266. Nah, the multiplication is better, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well. I think this Archon is not long for this world. As long as we don't die within the next few rounds. We should be we should be perfectly fine. Although he's doing his anathema, right? Not his anathema. The uh, is it anathema? No, he's not doing the the one where he gains evade. Anything we can get? We can pick up a martyrdom. He was low. I think Sylvie is low. Then let's just devastate, right? I need a reason to devastate something right now. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Battle plan for that extra energy next turn. And then we can put this and this. No, I want barricade back on the top. There we go. Now we can do repair armor. And we can do a martyrdom on someone else just to get that one out of our deck as well. Cool. So yeah, I think Archon is pretty much dead at this point. It's just a matter of not getting unlucky and having something that I didn't calculate for or account for happen, right? That's a bit of a painful thing. How much block did Gustav have and he just lost all of it? Alright, play this, play this, play the sad. Let's get fanaticism as well since we have just so much block and might as well do this too. Alright, so you have increased resistances to everything that is not the damage that we do, which is lovely. Okay, let's play this. Nice, we get the chant. 
Like this. Deflect. Can we get the chant again? We get find weakness. Deflect. Chant. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, and then cast this on you. He's not dead this turn, is he? Not with a hand like this. Oh my god, what a terrible hand. Let's play this. Uh, we need to put back this. And... Multi-shot, I think? I can't remember if Rapid Fire has been... Oh, oh we can see. No, Rapid Fire has not been increased. Oh, we can only select one anyway. Yeah, let's do this. Rapid Fire we can't play, but we can just do Adrenaline and Rapid Fire. Lovely. It feels so cheaty being able to attack him through his shield without his shield even going down once. That is ridiculous. Have you guys ever seen when you have the Madness perk that reduces the maximum HP of the enemy by an amount proportionate to the amount of ma uh, insanity on them? It almost looks like you're healing them because their health bar goes up because you're dealing more damage to their max HP than you are to their, uh, their current HP. I love it. It confused the heck out of me the first time I saw it. Alright, let's make sure to get this on and let's protect our DPS. Our DPS is going to be essential here. Oh, okay. Yeah, the insane stacks aren't good at all because they reduce our damage done. Oh, yeah, he's dealing significant damage. What did he play? Despair? Misery? Oh man, he put sad on all of our decks. X equals target, vanish pile. Lethargy, X equals... I think it was probably that vanish pile one that really screwed us up. Ooh, I don't think I can dis- Oh no, I can dispel this with Gustav, right? Man, Sylvie, you're damaged, girl. Minus 50, minus 47%. You're doing nothing with your damage next turn unless we resolve it somehow. Let's do that for just some minor healing. That was a brutal turn. All right, Gustav. My man, my savior. Ooh. We're going to have to cycle through back to this thing. Yeah, we'll play this. We'll play this. Three, two, one. Wait, will this work? Draw three. Yeah, this will work because it'll shuffle in and then we get those two. Nice, we get Sweet Melody, which is what we want. We do this. We can now remove Sylvie's debuff. Let's play Find Weakness and let's buff up Sylvie some more. And then let's play this for good measure. Might as well get rid of the sands. Okay. I feel like Bree is probably going to be going down at some point soon. We have four energy. I think 300 three times for two energy is uh, probably good, right? Oh, he's got evade on! Every time. Right. I'm learning. I'm learning that this guy evades a lot. Battle plan. Do we need power? Sylvie might need a little bit of power. But I don't think it's too essential. Let's get rid of those two. We draw but one back anyway. Oh man, look at this. Mind resistance minus 176. You're at minus 95 mind resistance. He's not doing mind damage, is he? No, he's doing sanctify. Oh, but he changes it to... I see what he does. It took me this long to figure out what he does. So, he just converts this to another form, another status effect that lowers the resistance to the damage type that he's about to do. Although he does it pretty late in. Like, what's he doing? He's doing crucifixion? Middle hero? That's not going to do anything. Yeah, he does the, major the majority of his holy damage before he changes the, the status effect. I mean, I'm not complaining. Let's do this, and then give this to Sylvie. Alright. Let's see what the damages are here. Okay, that's bearable. That's a big ouch. <laughs> Look at that. Oh no, we need to get rid of this dispel on... Sorry, we need to dispel on Bree immediately. Look, the attacker heals 178 health. 
Oh my goodness, that is insane. And he's going to heal it so much more. Oh man. Okay, how do we even do this? We need to get rid of this. Oh, and we also need to speed up. What's her name? Sylvie. Alright. Whew. I'm starting to see why this guy is a bit of a challenge. Let's see, can we get... Okay, we got... Oh, but we can't remove. We're gonna have to cycle this back around again, right? I think we're gonna have to cast this on Gustav. Yeah, cast this on Gustav, then we can do Song here. Now we play Setup and we hope for Dispel Magic again. Sweet Melody is good. We have five energy, we can easily play one of these and then another one of these. Get rid of the 63 Sanctify. Because that would have been scary. <laughs> That's like what, one arrow? Two arrows? Worth the damage? Oh my god, freaking Sylvie. The only playable card here. Well, I guess not the only one. Is multi shot. Alright, we'll play this. We have three energy. We can't play volley. And we also can't really play adrenaline. So with three energy, we'll just do a rapid fire. That's six, thirty-nine. Okay, okay, okay. Martyrdom, we don't want to keep this in our deck. Okay, what the damage is this time? Anathema? Corruption. X equals targets regen. That's gonna do a decent amount to our to all of us actually. That's what? 12 plus what 39 maximum? Apply three dark. None of us are close to blowing up. And then death's toll. Front hero jump two deadly chime is not good. Total Eclipse. It's gonna do next to nothing to us. It'd probably hurt Otis. And then Crushing Darkness. X equals targets. Oh. Okay, that's going on front. So I don't really want to do this on front. Let's go ahead and guard up the back. Hmm. Yeah, let's do Battle Shout. And then let's just spend the rest on this. Okay. I think this is the best that we can do here. Hopefully nobody dies. Deadly Chime is bad if it hits Sylvie. Oh. Okay, that hits Sylvie. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Otis had 73 stacks of darkness on him after that. Oh. Okay, there goes our healer. Okay, Sylvie. We need to pick up the pace. I mean, you're dealing some substantial damage, which is nice. What are we loading up on next turn? We have a setup next turn, which is good. Ooh, okay, things are getting a bit tense. Play Song of Dispel. Uh, sure. Play Deflect. We get a one cost martyrdom. Oh, no. Ugh, all right, sure. We do this, we do this. And then we do... A, do we actually do a setup? What are we looking for? Chant and find weakness. Okay, we got them both. Let's put the martyrdom back on top. Chant. Song of swiftness. Find weakness. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, is the final boss normally this, like, beefy? Are the final bosses battles on... Madness 4 plus like actually really difficult or do you just need to like game the system? Is that how you play this game? Do you have to game the system in order to play this game? Okay, what is he up to now? Oh, he's getting his abstraction back up which will give him his evade Barricade I don't even think I devastate here Not, not that it's a good option honestly what does it do? It only inflicts marginal damage and applies two bleed? Yeah, no. Alright. Alright, Archon, do your worst. Lethargy. It's bad. Oof. Oof. Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that? Phantom Echoes. Yeah. 
vanish piles, man. Like, look, I have 33 in Bree, 26 in Sylvie, 26 in Gustav. Oh, dude. The martyrdoms and the sads add to that. So you're, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You need to finish the battle quickly. It's basically how it goes. In case you guys weren't aware. The longer the the Archon battles goes, the more difficult it's going to get, right? Oh man. Sylvie, 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 Sylvie. You need to get cured, my girl. Oof. Uh. Ugh. Yeah, let's play one of those. Let's do that. We have to. Oh, that wasn't the right one. Okay, Sylvia's doing basically nothing this turn, which is... Are we dead? I think we're dead. Alright, Sylvie. You're still doing, like, 205 damage, even though you have... Minus 50% damage. Hmm. Oof. I think we're dead, though. Oh, especially with that. I forgot about that. Alright, Bree, you have to have a good turn this turn, Bree. Not bad, not bad. We need to keep Sylvie alive. Sylvie is our main woman here. 74 block, I don't think that's going to cut it. Okay, at least that's changed. Okay, avoided Bree. Okay, Bree's still up. Okay, okay. I can dig it. Oh, Gustav, no! Ooh. <laughs> no, Sylvie! <laughs> oh, Sylvie, 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 Sylvie! Oh, girl, this is the totally wrong time to draw all of your sadnesses. Ooh, okay, well... Oh, my God. This also is not good. Battle plan. We need the blocks. We need every single block that we can muster. God. Oh, but wait. We only have four energy. Oh, no, this is good. We can still play everything. God, barricade, repair armor. Whew. Man. Anathema. Okay, that's not good. That's also not good. At least it started on... <sighs> Victory was so close. It was so close. Okay, let's give it another go. I don't know what went wrong. <laughs> I feel like our combo is just too slow. Is that the problem? Like, I'm thinking the reason why he started doing so much damage to us is because we kept vanishing cards and then he hit us with a card that, like, vanish everything. Man, okay, that felt pretty bad. Now we need to go through it all over again. That's okay. Let's see if we can do something different, although I have absolutely no idea what difference I can make because I feel like I was playing the game properly or playing the, the deck properly, should I say. Set up. Look at that. Put back melodic rhythm. We don't need that, but we'll probably end up drawing it anyway. Oh, probably not. Okay, cool. Oh man, that was rough. We need to start inflicting damage immediately, I think. So, camo. Camo. One thing that we can do is we cannot use elven agility on and double shot on our falcon shot. That could be a good start. We have three and if we do this right now, it'll deal 71 bites. Double shot, sure. Alright, provoke, barricade, guard on self. Uh, that was wasted on myself. Play this, let's put back push forward and battle plan. And we can get another barricade active, nice. 
All right, here come the Doomsday. Apotheosis. And I think we can also play a bit around its evade a bit better, right? I think that's another thing we could do. So the Shadow Clone, we basically use the Shadow Clone for as a whetstone. We battle the Shadow Clone and we kill it while we're powering up Sylvie. Is the plan. Let's see. Do I even play these right now? If I play them right now, they leave my deck. And I get the benefits now. Which means I live more guaranteed over the next few turns. But when it gets to like the end of the combat, when he's doing insane amounts of damage, would we need it for then instead? I think it doesn't matter. So let's just do as many protections as we can. Infuse courage on everyone's got courage already. Oops. I wanted to drop that actually, but that was a misclick. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's he up to? He is doing poison, deadly chime, and sanctify into dark. And then crushing darkness. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go ahead and start inflicting this onto him. Dispel. We can dispel three. And then play Ballad of Evasion. Maybe that's something we can also keep. Let's see how this battle goes. That's not good. That fatigue is not good. Oh man, Sylvie's up next. Don't hit Sylvie. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, Sylvie is safe. Sanctify, that's fine. Or oh, also we can get rid of the darkness on Otis when he when he gets doubled to like 78, right? That's also another thing we could try to do. So we have got our double shot, but this is a small weapon, not a ranged attack. Let's play adrenaline and adrenaline. Get our setup active. We have Falcon Shot. Oh, I think we put back volley. We can't play it right now, but if we wait for a little bit, then we can play it. And then we can get our volley with double shot, which should be pretty cool. So let's play this. <clears throat> Give this to you. Play a push forward. Sadly, martyrdom is not a skill, so it doesn't trigger. But we do get blood rage, which is a skill and should give us a little bit more bonus to the rest of our team. All right, prayer protection. Since we have shield, we can fanaticism as well. Detoxify, get rid of the toxic up front. And how big is Sylvie's deck right now? Is 10 cards big? She had one Inspire. Let's give her another Inspire. Alright, Gustav. Right, Chant of Accuracy. Song of Swiftness. We'll make Sylvie go before the Arthur. Do we want anything from our deck? I mean, yeah, we of course we do. We want um, Chant of Accuracy. Let's get rid of this. Oh no, Otis! Oh, that's fine. Breed's gonna get it. Alright, then let's save this for next turn, and we pass! Alright, martyrdom on back. Then we do defensive strategy. Intimidate. Intimidate. Piercing Howl. Standard Bearer. Let's just play our hand. Okay. So remember, remember to look out for the doubling. The doubling effect of um, the darkness. Is he, is he playing it now? No, he's doing the sad thing. He's going all spiritual and abstract on us. So what does his abstract turn amount to? Abstraction, which is uh, evade every other hit. Lethargy. Uh, equals R. What is that? Oh, we actually have quite a bit of that. We have a bit of vitality here. Hold on one second, I need to readjust. Oh. There we go. I actually need to get a better chair, honestly. This chair that I'm sitting on has no, um, had no armrests. And I've been using it for like a year. <laughs> uh, right. Elven accuracy, we have seven energy. So we can elven accuracy, what's in our deck? We have Rapid Fire in our deck, and I think Rapid Fire is the card that we really want. So I think it's worth doing a setup for. Let's put this setup back. Let's do 
Elven accuracy, adrenaline, and then we can do rapid fire. What is the shadow clone doing? All the heroes purge those two. That's not good. And then apply stress, ignore block. <sighs> um. Well, we're not going to be able to get rid of him. I say we still focus on him. Get that sharp up. There we go. Look at that. And then this deals... Oh, we can actually get rid of him. <laughs> okay. I did not think it was possible, but we can actually do it. There we go. And then rapid fire. Lovely. Okay, that's good. We killed him one turn early. Aim shot. And yeah, I think that's it for Sylvie this round. And she still has two energy left over, which is amazing. There goes the reduced person. That's perfectly fine. Ooh. How long have you guys been playing uh, across the obelisk? Let's see, how many hours have I got into it? This is uh, probably a bit embarrassing. I have 166 hours into it. Which honestly I think is child's play. I'm used to playing games like Crusader Kings where you play a thousand hours and you've only just gone through the tutorial. Alright. Do we do Detoxify? Detoxify will grant... Uh, what is that thing called? This thing. Buffer. That's it. Oh man. Yeah, we need to get rid of Sylvie's weak, at the very least. Can we get rid of anything here? No. What about over here? We can get rid of a martyrdom? I don't think we want to do that. I think we keep fortune telling for now. Alright, is he doubling darkness this turn? He is not. He is transforming stuff to holy. Oh man, yeah, look at how little damage this is doing. Oh, we definitely need those sads out of our deck, though. Yeah, let's put back the set up. Then we can do Adrenaline, Sad, Sad, Rapid Fire. Multi-shot. Oh, we had the... I didn't play around it. Could have saved some energy there. Alright, Find Weakness, Chant, uh, Sad, Martyrdom. Uh, oops. That's okay, we can get rid of another sad. Deflect. Deflect. Okay, our deck is clear. We play this now. We have a lot of vanished card now. 14. Maximum we have is 15. Alright, Intimidate. Intimidate. Enrage. Devastate. I feel like there's a combo that we can use for Devastate, right? That like something we can use... Like a deck that's based around Devastate. It just feels like one of those cards. Yeah! Alright, we play this. We want to get the sad out of our deck. Uh, we only got one sad out of the deck. And oh. barely. Okay, sure. Alright, here we go. Celestial Brilliance, not going to do much. Rapture! <sighs> Okay, and that does heal him for a nice amount. It really feels like dispels are essential on this boss. We need to dispel the condition that he rotates through. Yeah, I need a master spell. Master spell is going to be so important at some point. I don't even think Celestial Brilliance is worth it. It does basically nothing. Fanaticism is also not really good. Two martyrdoms. I probably set myself up to do two martyrdoms, honestly. I am still learning this game. Volley we don't need. All monsters, that costs two though. Let's get rid of the... Oh, we... Yeah, let's get rid of the... Let's put that back. Rapid fire. Okay, multi-shot. Do we do multi-shot? That's only one instance, right? 
I think we save the energy for next turn. Okay, round five, we've dealt like about 2,000 damage to him. Find weakness. Shant of accuracy. This would go so much better if we had some more energy for Sylvie, I think. Shant of accuracy. And then we can do dispel on front. We can then... No, we can't. We'll do this. Okay, the Archon is going to get some pretty funky healing going on. I think. You still have a sad in your deck? Come on. Alright, play this. Uh, I want those two. Barricade. Repair armor? Why not? Devastate? I honestly don't think Devastate's doing anything. We might want to remove that with... Um, well, have you already removed that card? Fortune. We could try to remove it with Fortune Telling. Okay, back there. Okay. Oh, I'm not liking our chances right now, honestly. That deadly chime is terrible. That's also really bad. <gasps> no! Oh, wait, just is alive. <laughs> okay. I feel like that was the turn that killed Otis last time. Alright, who has Martyrdoms in their deck right now? Gustav, Otis. Oh no, Bree. Yeah, I don't need another Martyrdom here. We'll play Martyrdom next turn. Let's see. Rapid Fire is what we want to play. There we go. We can even play a volley if we want. But honestly, I think Rapid Fire is the way to go. We have no way of playing it more than once, though. Which is sad. Multi-shot does a little bit more damage, gives us a bit more... Um, lowers his resistances a bit, is what I meant to say. There we go. Play this. Play this. Let's grab this and give it to Otis. Set up. We don't want set up right now, do we? Let's do this. Deflect. Should give us another deflect. Give us a find weakness. Okay, and then let's grant ourselves one of these. And yeah, we need to dispel the darkness here. He is doing his sad turn. He is going ethereal. Yeah, yeah. I know you have two of those in your deck. No need to show off. Alright. Do we survive round six? So the weak... Ah, I see you. So we don't actually want vitality on our on our people. How do we get vitality, by the way? Was it through one of your cards? Uh, Command and Conquer is what gives vitality. Okay, so if we don't play Command and Conquer, that might help us in terms of reducing <laughs> just the the crap that we have. And this isn't a very good turn for fortune telling, honestly. That's okay, we'll do this, do this. Prayer protection, prayer protection. Really the best thing we can do right now. Adrenaline? On Sylvie. Ooh. Interesting. The answer is yes. The answer is no. Yes. It's alright. <laughs> He's got Evade on right now. And I don't want to waste energy. I guess we can play like one casting of it, right? We can actually play Rapid Fire and reclaim all of the energy that we expended to natural uh, to natural energy gain. Alright, we have the chant. What's he doing? Is he vanishing us? No, not just yet. Oh man. Needs vanishes. Find weakness. Uh, he's moving at 18, which I think is perfectly fine. We'll grant this on Sylvie. Unless Sylvie already... Sylvie does not have one. Sylvie had a really bad turn. Oh man, I wish I could give Otis some, some Inspire. Oh no. Battle plan. What do I even put back? I don't need that. Don't really need that either. Alright, barricade. 
guard. Let's put guard on Sylvie. Sylvie's going to be essential, I think. Get rid of this, and then we do one of these on Otis at the back. Okay, Otis. Time to not have a turn because you're so sad and, you know, crucified and all that jazz. Oh no, now you have to? Yeah, now you have to. Oh, actually. No, this is good. Because now we can uh, vanish those two. Yeah, we can just vanish those two. We're, we're good, okay. Sylvie's turn is protected, I think. Let's get some more prayers of protections up. <laughs> okay, I don't know how that turned out so well. Let's hope they continue to turn out well. He is vanishing us this turn, right? That's crushing darkness. No, not yet. Okay. Find weakness. Sweet melody. Yeah, we need to get rid of some of these. Play that, play that. We need another sweet melody. We got it. Okay, this spell on back here. Chant of Accuracy, Sylvie. Find weakness. Whew, man. Okay. We get set up, which will draw us those two, and we can put back another setup, and then we can use Adrenaline to regain the energy that we just used. Ooh, man, okay. I feel like we are making some progress. We do rapid fire. Look at that damage. We do volley. And then we do multi shot. Although, are you reducing your curse at this turn? Again, no. Okay. I should have played some of those crucifixions to get them out of the deck. But time will tell whether or not that was a good choice to do. Alright, guard on Sylvie again. Barricade, repair armor on myself, get rid of the sad. Okay, Archon, do your worst. Do your absolute worst. Just don't hit Sylvie. Oh my god. Did you do that much because you blew him up? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Okay. Okay then, save her for later. <laughs> oh, poor Gustav. He had nothing to save for later. Uh. Alright. Chant of Accuracy, at least Gustav is still getting his, his stuff done. Deflect, deflect. Find weakness is good. And we still have the energy left to spare. We can do this on Gustav, set up. What we want is Sweet Melody and... Oh, that's not going to work, is it? No. We want a Sweet Melody and we wanted the other one. Uh, Chant of Accuracy. But this is fine as well. This is fine as well. I think now he's vanishing us. Yeah, he's... Phantom Echoes is the card that we need to look out for. This Phantom Echoes is terrifying. How much damage is it doing now? right now? 28. So it's doing maximum 28. Where is it? This one? Oh man. He's doing 28 plus 28, which is like 56. Oh, and it also inflicts dark as well. That's why it blows you up so much. And that's only on front hero. Okay, so this Phantom Echoes is absolutely terrifying. Oh, and it jumps too. Of course it jumps too. So that's going to blow up like Three people. Basically. Will it blow up three people? It'll definitely blow up Bree. Sylvie, it may blow up. I don't I don't know. Unless he has any other dark generation cards. No, no, but he does do despair. Okay, this is terrifying. What is our out to this? Our out to it is killing him, but we can't kill him before his turn. Whew. Rapid fire though is always good. Alright, we cast this. Multi-shot? Why not? Next turn? No, okay. No, I don't think there's a way of getting around Phantom Echoes. 
The thing, it doesn't go through block. So the way to get around it is to block, right? How much damage is this going to do? So on you, it's going to do 29 times 2, which is 58, I believe. So that'll deal 58. And then it will apply 58 uh, dark to us, which is going to do like 116 damage. So 58 plus 106. Wait, no, that's not how that works. 58 plus uh, 29 doubled? Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's how it works. So that's 58 plus 58, which is 116. So that's going to do 116 damage to us. I have 114 block. Let's get that a little bit higher for myself. We can even do a battle plan to get some more block cards. Lovely. Get rid of those two. And we can actually play them. Barricade on all heroes. Repair armor on Sylvie. Okay. Do we survive this attack? That is the main question. Hold on to your seats, everybody. Okay, we survive. Now we just have to play through the madness. Ooh, boy. <laughs> okay, sad, sad, sad. Protection. Protection. There we go. We have a we have a sad, sad boy at the back there. We have a sad pig god. All right, chant over here. Quicken. Quickness. Deflect is probably going to get us another sad. It didn't, which is good. Do this and then dispel. I need to dispel your bad stuff. I'm very articulate, guys. Okay. How much damage are we doing? We're doing like minus 52%, 26% uh, damage because of what we've got going on here. Adrenaline just makes a set up free for us. We only have four energy. We can put back multi shot. I don't think it really matters which one we put back anyway. Oh, it does in terms of getting rid of the sad, right? Ooh, okay, this is uh, becoming a bit tricky. We can't kill him this round. It might not be next round either, but the round afterwards we probably uh, survive. Oh, we probably kill him, right? Because we do rapid fire twice. Rapid fire. Oh, he's got evade on. Why does this always happen to me, guys? Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> okay, God, we need um Sylvie to still be guarded, please, pretty please. Okay, let's put those two back on top. Oh no, I didn't mean to. Is Sylvie dead? Is she dead to doom? No way, she can't be dead to doom. At least one of us has to have a martyrdom. Okay, that's fine. That's also fine. Maybe. <laughs> one of us has martyrdom? <laughs> Rick and Big God over here have been hoarding them. Holy cow. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Might as well do that, right? Get some Sanctify on. See how he likes it when we apply the Sanctify onto him. Okay. We need... I mean, that's not what we need, but it's okay. Sweet Melody is what we need, though. Look at that. 150, 173 Holy. Set up. Okay, good. We got it back again. We don't need a Martyrdom. Let's do another... Oh, yeah, that's not the right one. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, come on. Fine. We'll get a draw... I thought we'd get a draw from that because of our... Oh, we've already used it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We don't need to play this again. Martyrdom. Might as well play it on Big God. And then this. Okay. Uh, what is he doing? He is doing Anathema. He is going dark. Okay, he does not have his evade on anymore, which is super nice. Let's put back one of those. Rapid fire is important. Look at that. Look at that damage. I-N-C-R-E-D-I-B-L-E. 
Okay. We're doing much better than we did last time. I think those adjustments that we made have <laughs> proven to work at least a little bit. Let's play the sad. And let's get the power up. Sure. We get the power up, we get Sylvie some more damage. Okay, let's just hope we don't explode. Right. Okay, it evaded Sylvie, which is good. Okay. Okay, okay, we just lost Pig God. That's fine. <laughs> that is more than fine, I hope. It's fine, right? Guys, it's fine. Okay, deflect. Deflect. Whew. I would say that my heart is pounding, but I don't actually have a heart. Below the camera view, I just end as a person. Okay. Dispel magic. Sorry. Not that one. The, there. Then we do... What is he up to? Oh, he's going ethereal again, huh? He does not have his uh, evade up. But what's important right now is that we get through this next battle, this next round. Yeah, I think we have to sweet melody on Bree, honestly. We have a lot of energy. We can even do a setup. What am I even worried about? Get rid of that. Let's get some more on Sylvie. Let's get some more weakness on him. Lovely. Okay, Sylvie. Now or never, girl. And it looked like it's going to be never. This is that turn, huh? Alright, well. Okay. Oh, he's doing vanish. He's vanishing us. How much vanish do I have? 23? Oh, no. <sighs> Okay, that's only front hero. Oh man. Jump two, that's gonna kill all of us. Okay, at, uh, Yeah, that is gonna totally kill all of us. I don't need these two. I need, I can only play one. Is this the same problem we had last time? Is this the end? Is round 12 the end of us? Can we just not get past round 12? So he's doing misery on us, like, right, sorry, not misery, phantom echoes. <sighs> if this hits Sylvie twice, we are screwed. We cannot win this if it hits Sylvie twice. Oh, and he's got his evade up. Okay, let's see how it happens. Okay, Bree is out. Misery, not good. Despair, okay. At least we have Gustav. At least the frog is seeing us out. Sing us a song, frog. Sing us a song. How do I have so much energy? Okay. Oh, sweet frogger. Please liberate us from this insanity. Oh, man. We don't got this, do we? No, we don't. This is because we have that weak. And because Frogger is so slow. But we can play everything. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. If we forego the multi shot, we can get the sads out of our deck. So here's what we do we do rapid fire first. No, we do volley first. Then rap then multi shot, then rapid fire. He's got evade! Yeah, through evade, we can't do it. So, if, I'm thinking, if we... What if we do some shenanigans about shuffling our deck? If we do some shenanigans about shuffling our deck and then replaying a card that we just played, not gonna work because volley costs four, it'll cost five, we can't play that right now. And setup costs one. But what we can do is we can set up to gain another Energize for next turn. And that will give us some more energy. So I think we do Rapid Fire. We'll hit three times. 
So he'll gain, lose, so he'll gain, lose, gain. So he'll end up with an evade, which will probably have vanished by the time it comes to his turn. How much damage is he doing to us? Target's blessed. We don't have blessed, so that's nothing. All heroes, that's nothing as well. Transform mental into sanctify, and then crucifix. He's not doing too much damage to us this turn. Maybe Sylvie can survive. Maybe. It's a chance, but it's a maybe. Man. I feel I feel the taste of victory. We're so close. I'm almost hesitant to go forward because I don't want to be wrong. But that is not how we win. That is not how we proceed. We have four energy. Rapid fire, sad, sad. Or rapid fire set up. Get rid of these two in our deck right now. Actually, no, that would just add more sad into our deck, wouldn't it? So we do rapid fire sad set up, I think. We definitely do a rapid fire, I think. One, two, yeah, two hits. He's so dead next turn, though. This is so frustrating. He is absolutely. Oh, but Frog is dead! Frogger is dead, like, right now. We're gonna have to go for the setup play. Yeah, as sad as it is, we need to do this. And give back the setup back to the top of the deck. And then do... What, sad? Martyrdom? Mm, that will slow us down. 21... 2019, 18, 17. That will slow us down to before him. We need to get this out of our deck, though. I... Oh, no. Don't tell me that's going to kill us. Don't tell me that. Oh, no. With that, we're definitely dead. Back here. Okay, you're out. Oh, I'm out. I'm dead. There's no way. There's no way. There's... I'm dead. <sighs> Man. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I can do this. Oh. I'm going to go get a drink. I will be right back. <laughs> okay, let's hit the uh, be right back stream button. Lovely, I'll be right back.